Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shihab Dool. Today I'm going to show you how to create an inbound rule to allow SSH ac uh, access. Now, I created a VM, but I didn't enable the port uh, SSH connection. Now I need to open that port to SSH. So this is a uh, virtual machine Azure rule and this is a Linux server, but it doesn't matter uh, whichever server, if you want to allow a port, this method will be good. Now, the thing is, if you try to SSH from your native SSH or, or SSH using Azure CLI, if you select, this will run the validation check and it will tell you if you can do SSH to this server or not. So it will give you a full inspection before anything you can see port 22 access unable to configure just in time on the virtual machine standard uh, policy not configured on this virtual machine that's mean the port 22 access not configured now if you want to configure you need to do here is you go to the overview you can see everything here uh, under the, the first page, you go to the networking and network settings under that. And you can see there's inbound port rules, outbound port rules. Now for SSH access to allow, we go into inbound port rules and we go into create inbound port rule. The right side, uh, the top of that, you can see create a port rule. You can choose inbound or outbound. I'm going to choose inbound port rule. Once you click the inbound port rule, you will see the uh, added inbound secret rule and the source. So normally when you click that source, there's uh, so many things. So I'm going to use my IP address. If you have a static IP address, you can still uh, click that IP address and you type. So this is static IP address is that the machine you're going to SSH to this uh, VM. So think that your public IP address on your home machine. Um, if you don't know, you can choose my IP address, so it will populate, it will grab your publi public IP address and dump in here, so you can change it back. So now you have the IP address. Now, this will, uh, this will only allow your current public address to connect to SSH. If your IP address changes as it often does with the residential internet connection, you lose access to SSH. So make sure that. But it doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to configure SSH, uh, you do your work and after that you can disable the connection. I'm going to show you that. Now source port ranges. So that's asterisk mean, uh, the star mean any. So I'm going to keep that port ranges and destinations any. Now the services, the services. I'm going to use SSH because uh, that's the SSH port I need to allow. Now, one, you can see once you click the service SSH, it, this destination port ranges automatically select 22 and the TCP protocol. Now, the next thing we need to select allow or deny. So normally, uh, because we need to uh, need to access the SSH, uh, need to configure some stuff, so we need to allow. I'm going to put description SSH allow or uh, you can see deny. So I'm going to put this rule. You can see you can change the name if you want. I'm going to keep the default name. You can see now we create inbound rule allow my IP address SSH inbound. You can see port 22 protocol TCP source IP destination e allow. Now let's go ahead to the overview and do a refresh now your virtual machine uh, can uh, connect the SSH connection now you can use your party connection with the native but I'm going to use the SSH using Azure Scylla it's also uh, free so more ways to connect you need to pray for a bastion you know a serial console so I'm going to go with the uh, free stuff now this is good actually. Now it will uh, give you again 
uh, validation. Now it's trying to validate if it's port 22 open or not. Let's see. You can see port 22 is open. I'm going to click I understand just a timely policy blah blah and configure the connection. With that now it's going to you know configure everything. So port 22 auto machine use administrator login everything is connected and uh, it's going to give me access to SSH connection to my virtual machine in Azure. Normally uh, you need to you know uh, deny this port 22 because it's open to the public. Now when you do like uh, only as ac uh, access through the the public the, the IP address I own those kind of stuff they make it you can secure more on this uh, access I'm going to say connect actually in here switch to bash closure okay no worries now uh, you can see it's going to connect open SSH to my uh, VM my Ubuntu server so that's all now once you're done with the uh, access once you're done with the whatever you want to do on this machine now you want to you know uh, stop the connection you want to disable the connection what you need to do here you just go back again to the network settings and you can disable this one click this one and you can deny you always can change just in case if your IP address could change your static IP address on your home address you can change here you can go to my IP address again and again uh, IP addresses so it will automatically detect your uh, if you change the, if the IP address changes it automatically detect okay so don't worry so I'm, I'm going to put to deny and save so it's going to deny and uh, you can see up to the secret rule you can see it's deny now if you go to the connect i'm going to do a refresh this and wait for long not long <laughs> and select and going to do a validation again uh, should tell you that the port 22 is not configured so that's how you protect your machine now I didn't give any uh, public access. Oh, you know what? Port to do access. Uh, probably it need time. Let me do a refresh thing, and let me go back again. Network settings. I want to make sure it's it's deny. Yeah, it's deny, and I'm going back again. Connect. Select. Okay sometimes uh, the changes need some time you know so it will yeah you can see now this port is uh, is blocked so you cannot do any ssh connection so this is good to protect your uh, machine because this is now in the cloud and you want to uh, do any uh, configuration on ssh from your home to ssh and do or whatever the configuration you want to do like update and stuff and after that you just disable the ssh so then you not opening the your ssh connect to the whole world i know you allow only your public ip address but you know hackers can gain into access to your ip address and you can ssh you know blah 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 those kind of stuff so it's good to you know uh, keep it blocked Otherwise, if you have a static IP address uh, configure and more security on your machines, you can open. Also, there's a way, uh, there's more security stuff like Bastion. So you need to pay for this stuff. Uh, but these are very good security stuff. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you on my next videos.